Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We just learned that there seems to be some sort of a Samus Dot hideout in the sewers down here. So that's where I'm going to head. See if I can learn more about why they're, they seem to be trying to hack us. TF29 that is. And that's pretty much on the other side of this district, so I'm going to try to not get too distracted along the way. I do want to learn kind of the layout of this place though, so I'll be taking a peek at everything along the way, but I'll try not to get, you know, like loot every house or something. So we originally came, yeah, we originally came from down there. And then here's the Halavni Apartments. TF29 is down this way. I'm gonna try going this way. And, uh, oh, that's the magic shop that we went inside of. You could totally jump over this. Hmm. Could go to the sewers down there, too. I don't know if all the sewers link up, like maybe you can go into any sewer entrance and you'll be fine. Ooh, look at that. Hello, sir. Holy crap. Hello, sir. That's the Palisade Bank, right? Yeah. Christ. That is a brutal, boxy, imposing building. And this, this thing here is just strange and gorgeous. I can't imagine that entire thing is actually solid concrete and that this is just a normal tree because I'm pretty sure that'd be so heavy. There's no way the tree could take it, right? So something else must be going on. Either it's hollow or, I don't know, maybe it's a fake tree. A wrench is a tool, not a human being. Anti-Og? Or no? Actually, I don't know. That, honestly, that could go either way. Anti-Augur, anti og harassment. Ooh, look at the grass. You okay? Do not call attention to me. The police do not like us here in the daytime. They're having problems. <laughs> Naturals only bench. Anyway, just taking a quick peek. Where am I heading? Uh... This way. Have to find something. I'm watching. Oh, that's the Irish stool. Remember seeing that on the map? Auto dialy. There is only so much we can do right now. Oh, that's a good car parts place. Raha, uh -huh. something, something cleaning supply. Hot. Wow, a natural's only business. No, yeah, that's the vendor. But they don't show up as a vendor on map, so I'm guessing because I'm not a natural, they probably wouldn't sell to me. <laughs> that's kind of cute. You got ants drawn on the sidewalk leading to the cleaning supply place. Games and hobbies. Distraction. Okay. Oh my god, we still have so much more to go. It's the Metro. This game feels so large to me. But it's large in an interesting way. It's not large in like Skyrim large, where there, there's just a huge map. Like just running from one side of the map to the other would take forever. It's not large in that way, it's large in more in density. I mean, it probably really wouldn't take that long to run from over here all the way to the other side. Maybe like a minute at most probably if you're sprinting. Maybe even less than that. But it's just, I know the density is so high. All these businesses I can go inside of, all these like, places I can get up to and there's probably open windows and things I can loot. 
It's just, it's really dense. I feel like there's so much that I can do. Oh, that's a cool looking building. This right area? Yeah. Who would even listen to that crowd? Pretty sure I could jump over that, but might not be any need to. Mm, this whole place is walled in. What is this place actually? Just like a little junkyard? There was a car here at one point. Ooh. No junk mail. Hmm. Ah, security rating three. A structural weakness that I can't punch. It's weird that the ability for me to punch is such an important skill for someone who's focused on stealth, but there's honestly a lot of opportunities, a lot of pathways that it opens up. What's going on here? The Debney. Hudebni Festival. Oh, they're setting up a little concert. I worked on the contracts between Come the city on, and the central group for construction Whatever. of the Utulek Looks like a metro pass. Oh, the music box. Music store. Cool. Wanna we'll check that out later. Somebody called Pest Yeah. Well it looks like Are those real? Your album is out and I can't find it anywhere in the city. You'd think a music shop would have it. Zoobotics. Kind of Robotic music. animals, this looks so cool. Just not much going on. Nobody. Oh, featuring Pinkertone, Matlat, Rambozo, Beneath Lugger, Megatrons, Linji, Masa are these I don't know what those are. Oh. There's the manhole cover. It feels weird going down here while there's like two people <laughs> directly staring at me, but uh, let's let's surf the sewer wave. Yeah. You looking at something? Oh, hi. There is no such thing as free will. We are programmed from birth, heredity, culture, background. I think we make choices. But even they are programmed. So what's this place look like? Uh, looks like our goal is down a level in level one. So we're gonna fi want to find probably that ladder. Looks like the only way down. But then again, what's down here? This looks like a lower level. I don't think it is, though. No, nope, still the same level. Aha! Gas hazard. Not a problem for me, for me anymore. I'm so glad I got that before coming into the sewers, because this place is just filled with horrible gases. Oh! Does that stop the gas? Or... Well, there's definitely gas in there. I saw the green gas coming out when I opened it. Maybe there's multiple things to turn it on and off? Maybe more than one needs to be closed? It doesn't really matter in my case. Oh yeah, look at this. Yep, so that's removing some of it, but there's... Oh! Yeah, it's all gone now. Okay, so in some cases you don't actually... You don't absolutely need the rebreather. You can find ways around it sometimes. It's like someone's little underground lab. Oh, 
Talos Rucker. Oh, that's the augmented person running for some sort of an office, right? Yeah. Hmm. What are those bottles of? You know, I really need to get the thing that highlights usable items, like pick upable items. What is that? Oh, I think it's a high-tech lighter. It's the lighter of the future. Oh, it's just open. Okay. Uh, Jessica, the material needed for the next stage just arrived, but you'll need to pick it up yourself. I'm going to take advantage of my vacation to attend a talk in Bremen. It could serve as a useful platform to bring further attention to the university's despicable behavior, but you don't need me for the prepping stages anyway. The material is in a storage locker in the courtyard of the Zelen apartment complex. It's locked, of course, but a combination of bromine and bromide should do the trick. I'll check your progress upon my return. Good luck. The professor. We opened that storage compartment, that, uh, the storage locker in the Zelen apartments. Remember the one that had some sort of, like, biological, or at least it talked about having some sort of biological material, and I wondered if they were trying to make a bioweapon or something? This is related. Yeah, this is their lab that they've been working out of. They've also been living on cereal. <laughs> Everybody lives on cereal in this universe. The periodic table. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. There must be a quest related to this at some point, right? I mean, to find those two different pieces of the same story so far apart, there must be more to it. Like, I can't imagine it's just for world building, just, you know, just for flavor and not like an actual thing that you have to do at some point. But maybe, it could be. I'm glad they didn't blow up in my face. I don't know if these explosive things can actually blow up by being thrown. They probably have to be shot. Yeah. Okay, this is the way we need to head. Hi. I don't know why I'm so afraid of them. This isn't a restricted zone. Yeah, they're just... Just sippies. Step off, Clank. You and your kind to make me sick. Just bigoted civvies. I'm telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. They speak the truth. You sure to Monument Station. Hmm. Yeah, it's back up to the surface. Typing computers, don't you hear it? I don't hear it. Any secrets up here? Hmm. Yeah, there's some whole extra rooms over that way that you can only access from the pipes. Oh shit. Oh, it looks like they just took some neon. Yeah, they're out of it. But they're okay. They're alive. Yeah, I think that's the next thing I'm spending Braxis on, is the highlight thing. It's gonna show me usable items. 
I think it'll make searching a lot faster. Oh my god, I totally forgot you can craft items. I can I can craft two multi-tools. That's a good thing to know. Yeah, okay, so with two multi-tools I can I can crack both of the things back at the director's apartment. Hmm. Have to keep that in mind. Don't worry, I'll totally forget that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Apparently I found it. Oh yeah, it's on level one, but that's just like right down here. So I could have taken the ladder, that would lead me here, but this also takes me there. Keep some dot from exposing TF-29. You're asking all too right questions. Still needs an ending. You said that place is in front for a front. I want to know more. I want facts. Bones, what about you? I still think we should lead with Moonbase. He's right. Moonbase is sexy. Since when are you trying to be sexy? Do I look like Eliza Kazan to any of you? No, absolutely do not. Deep breaths, people. Let's take a minute to think about who we are, what it is we're trying to accomplish here. Let's be all tactical. So, are they going to shoot me on sight? Or is this going to be like a... Just talk them through the thing. Let's actually see what the quest says. Because if I need to keep them from exposing, I feel like I have to talk with them. I'm on the inside trying to play the long game. I can't afford to have some rogue journalists getting in the way and making things complicated. Not to mention risking the lives of the agents I work with. Sam's dot need to forget whatever they think they know about Praha Dovos. Okay, I should be able to talk them through it, right? I should be able to convince them. I have the social thingy, which I don't think I've ever seen that thing actually activate yet, but hopefully when the time comes for me to need to convince somebody of something, I should be able to do it. I don't think they're armed. They're just journalists. Ooh. Could mess with the breaker. But no, I'm just gonna go down. Yeah. There we go. Don't shoot shit. We're journalists. Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base. The, 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 the clones. The, the clones on the moon base. Who sent you? I'm here for Sam as dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and a, and a collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. Not gonna break your nose. I respect what you're trying to do. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in a commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Oh, that little import company? Oh, here we go. I know there's more than boxes. Dermal in the scanner, place. stable. The types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? Two men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. K? What exactly do you do down here? Sammy's that is a media uprising. While bikers panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it, we get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? 
Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikey's media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. <laughs> hacking into information that you shouldn't. Adam, Adam Jensen, I do not think you have a leg to stand on when it comes to objecting to the morals of somebody hacking into places they shouldn't. I literally just spoke with apparently my good friend, I forgot their name, Aria something, and then like 10 seconds later went behind their backs into their office and hacked into their computer. I hack into everything. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's... there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. I need you to stop looking into Brahadovos, but not for the reason you assume. Relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You got to appease your military industrial masters. You've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy, huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are Tension places detected. my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. Ooh. So we've unlocked the persuade thing. Oh, so it doesn't say what that's actually going to say to persuade. See, I'm a little bit on the fence here. Because I want to look into Bikus. And what they're saying sounds totally fair, and I want to help them. So I feel like if I persuade them, I might actually be missing out on a quest. But, I mean, I've got to try it, right? This is the first time it's popped up. You're going to forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> Ah, right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. Okay. Interesting. So it's not just like you press a button and it magically happens. You actually have to look at this information, make sense of it, and do the right thing. So it's a minigame. Personality traits, manic, paranoid, idealistic. Profile. Subject's dedication to truth verges on obsession. His capacity for reasoning is sharp, though may veer towards the tangential or even wild. Fear and extreme mistrust of authority are, are likely to be well-founded, though further aggravated by a life lived in hiding. Hmm. Okay, well, frightened definitely is going to work. Best results for Omega. Best results for Beta. 
Best results for Alpha. Uh, I don't entirely understand how to apply that. Uh, how do I know which one I need to do more? Okay, well this response sounds good. Fair enough. But there's a difference between speculation and fact. Right now I'm betting you don't have anything tangible to go on. You don't know who I am, what my role is, or what's really going on. Wait until the facts are out before you go spewing misinformation everywhere. Before you get people killed. Okay, maybe I don't have all the facts yet, I'll give you that, but I know something's going on down there. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. That's why you always have to keep digging. The truth, the real truth, it's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. Okay, beta seems to be a good thing to go with, I think. Whatever the cost, is that it? You want to be better than Pikus, right? But what does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Praha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Uh, sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Praha Dovos. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. Oh, that's fantastic. So it doesn't ruin our ability to take the quest. Excellent. All right, what do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar, the Palisade CEO. She leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. We'll see. Chad, you there? What do you got for me? Took care of Sam as dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reason? With the conspiracy nuts. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. I cannot speak for you, folks. I'm Adam Jensen, the great monitor turner offer. People just have too many monitors on. Just constant noise. And we just got a Braxis. So yeah, I said I was going to spend it on highlighting useful objects. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, smart vision, right? Yeah, magpie. Highlights useful items within the confines of the smart vision's area of effect. See if anything shows up. Ooh, oh my god, that is so useful. I never would have seen that. Oh, wow. That is super good. It even shows you radios. Actually, maybe it just should always showed you that, I don't know. Cool. Come on, battery. Yeah, that is super nice. Because this game has so much stuff, like the... The visuals are so busy. It's kind of hard to tell what I can pick up and not. Like, unless I really just stare at every single object. It's pretty hard. So that really helps with that problem. What's this? Oh, this is the way I would have had to take if I took the, the ladder. Ah, oh, 
Just sleep. They're fine. There's an object. It's a light. Oh, I see. So if I came from this way, I would have had to hack this or something. Okay. Let's get out of here. So I haven't been here, but I did go all here, here. I haven't been to the third level. It's also a lower level. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 I did go that way. That's the place I was filled with gas. So I think we've explored all of these sewers. It's interesting. There's supposed to be a casino in the sewers, so there must be multiple sewers. Maybe in the different districts. Maybe there's a whole other one in the other district. And the last time, last time! You know, let's try taking this way out. Pop up in another place. Oh, just warning, there's a fire. <laughs> Sweet, you can jump up in the air, grab the ladder at the point that you're at, so you can get a little, little, uh, boost to your climbing speed. Let's surf this thing closed. Whee! So where are we now? Oh, I see. So we went in there and came out here. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but probably one of these blue side quests. <laughs>